Uh, it is cold. It is uh, raining. Uh, unfortunately, here we can't. You know, we talked about the caveat yesterday. Well, this is it. Uh, plenty of uh, showers, not thunderstorms or any particularly heavy rain. It's just been, you know, nuisance throughout the afternoon, and that's actually allowed for temperatures to fall even more so. Our daytime highs today again happened at midnight. We've been dropping ever since as the cold front rolled through. But then what happened is we've had this, um, you know, a big chunk of moisture that's coming in from the uh, Gulf of Mexico. That's in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. For you and me, that doesn't really matter. It just brings us more rain, and that rain is pulling down some cold air up above, which has been established across a good chunk of the peninsula here. The heaviest rain now pushing off to the east, right? And so I think for the rest of the commute, it is still going to be wet. Obviously, uh, you know, there's no turning back now. We've uh, gotten the roads pretty wet out there, but as far as the heavy rainfall coming down, I think you'll be in much better shape as you see everything headed north and east, and we'll get into this nice little pocket of drier weather here. I think within the next hour. So we'll be in much better shape for the rest of the day and heading into tomorrow. Tomorrow will not be like today. We're not going to get this, uh, you know, just slug of moisture on top of us. It's not going to be overcast and cloudy and rainy all day, but it still will be cool. It just won't be like this. I mean, these were going to be our overnight temperatures, so we are ahead of schedule here because of the rain. 61, a little more rainfall there, and I think Fort Lauderdale uh, would be about uh, upper 50s there as we head into uh, the rest of this evening. Look at the temperatures in 24 hours dropping anywhere from 15 degrees cooler in Marathon to 23 degrees cooler in Fort Lauderdale. Broke out that map that we haven't shown you well since last winter and spring. These are the dew points, how much moisture we have at the surface. That's 61. If it was sunny, boy, that would feel fantastic. Dew points even lower across central and northern Florida. But when I show you the relative humidity, because it's relative to the temperature, temperature and dew point so close, we're almost saturated here at 93% with that dry air continuing across central and northern Florida. It is still going to be cooler tomorrow. It's still going to be dry as far as the humidity, and we'll have more sunshine to you know, allow us to enjoy the day certainly better. And then we'll get back into a more warm, uh, warmer and more humid pattern as we head into Saturday and Sunday. It's not going to be oppressive, but it's going to be a change. Tropics quiet, nothing doing here across the Atlantic. These are the morning lows, so bundle up. I mean, this is cold stuff for this time of year, right? Low 60s, you're going to feel that. It's going to be crisp. The um, humidity is going to be very low, so these numbers will feel even chillier than the actual temperature. And then for the highs tomorrow, we're going to do a lot better than today. Not going to be in the 60s, upper 70s to around 80 degrees. And the extended 70 forecast will take us uh, through the weekend with that more humid air mass coming back at us with an easterly wind and warmer temperatures in the 80s.